Hey everybody, Montreal went into Detroit to take on the Red Wings tonight, and in my preview I said it's this could be a trap game for Montreal, and that's what it turned out to be. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about what happened, uh, how they scored, uh, what I think about the game, I'll give you some stats for the game, three stars of the game, and... Um, but all I can do, and that's all right here at uh, Talking Habs, home of Habs Hockey, where everything's dedicated to the Habs and all things hockey. I'm in black, mourning the loss. Um, anyways, if you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe, ring the, mo the notifications bell down there, and that will get you uh, your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge from Talking Habs. Uh, while you're on the way down there, if you like the video, Give a thumbs up and can leave me any comments you may have about the game, what you think about their chances for the playoffs, what you think about Claude Julian, Mark Barrett, whatever you want to tell me. In the comment section, I read all my comments. And I usually answer them. Sometimes I don't have time to answer, but you'll know I, re I read them because I will leave you a heart. Um, okay, so um, this was a must-win game for Montreal. I don't see how it's not, and they lost it. And the thing is, they didn't lose it looking good. I was live-streaming the first period, and um, when the period was almost over, I saw their shots on goal. They were, I think it was 12-6, and I said to everybody, I said, watch those shots. That's a bad sign. I hope not, but that's disturbing right now, is that they're leaving the first period. Yeah, they're up one goal, but they're leaving the first period behind in shots, and I didn't like that. And I hate being right on something like this, but I was right. It's a trap game, and it was. Okay, so in the first period, the only goal was scored by Lekkinen, his 10th goal, shorthanded, to make, to make it one nothing at 12:48 uh, of the first. Other than that, it was quite. It was just like back and forth hockey. Um, can't say the Habs look good. They're playing the worst team in the league, and they look like they're even, and that's not good. Shots on goal, 12 for, Mon uh, for Detroit, 6 for Montreal. Montreal had a power play and nothing, and Detroit had two. They kind of had three, but they got one right at the end of the period, so I put it on the next period. Second period rolls around. And even though Montreal isn't really looking like they're, they're not dominating, that's for damn sure, uh, at 5-12, um, Ernie gets a uh, roughing penalty. Uh, at 6:04, Nemeth gets a boarding call. So Habs are up 5-3. Now you got to figure. Look, uh, Detroit has the worst penalty kill in the league, and Montreal has a good power play, especially on the road. They have a really good power play, and you got they got to score here. So um, didn't write the time, but at um, not long into the the power play. Suzuki, he kind of he cleans up a Domi pass at the net. And what I mean by that is Domi on the right side, top of the circle, I think, or right around the circle. He throws a, a puck at the net. He wasn't taking a shot. This was off to the side a little bit. And um, I think um, um, Bernier's pad got, got on the pad, or he just somehow it just kind of sneaked by his leg to the side of the net, and Suzuki has managed to corral it and toss it in. Uh, he looked good doing it, too. Calmly, no rush. He's a rookie, and it's just like he's been there forever. So that was nice. So Habs are up 2 nothing. Suzuki is eighth goal from Domi and Kovi, and he's got a couple power play goals this year, so that's good. And Suzuki, I saw this on Twitter. Suzuki, since he got put to the second line, playing uh, top six minutes, he's on pace for 65 to 75 points. That's how he's playing right now. He didn't get much points playing fourth line, no no power play, that kind of stuff at the beginning of the season. Once he got up to the second line, he's been putting up numbers that have him on pace for, if he played the whole year, he'd be on pace for 65, 75 points. As he is now, he's fourth in the Calder race and moving up. Okay. They have another power play still. They don't score. At 10-16... Uh, Nick Cousins takes, uh, I never heard of this before, but it's a delay of game penalty, which I heard of, but it's a face-off violation penalty too. Delay of game, face-off violation, never heard of it. Don't know what that's about. Don't know what he did. Um, and of course it comes back to bite us, uh, with like eight seconds left in the power play. Uh, 
a rebound from a point shot, bounces around the front. There's two guys in front, and Nielsen corrals it and tosses it in. His second goal from Smith and Bowie. And nothing else happens in the period, and that's it. 11-10 to, uh, for Detroit for shots. Um, two power plays each, and Montreal gets a, um, they each get a power play goal. So we're off to the third. Tied up. No, it's 2-1 to one Montreal. Call the trap game, remember. 51 seconds into the third period. A Sherratt turnover gets to Fabry. And he just rips it. He's like, I think he was in the slot. He just rips it past Lindgren. Fabry's 11th from Bertuzzi and Larkin. And I write underneath that, and I could show it to you. Trap game? Because I, you can go and look at my uh, my preview. It's in the, I believe it's in the, uh, it's either in the title or it's on the thumbnail. It looked like a trap game to me. It's the way I felt. At 2:23. Uh, abdic abdicator, abdicator, I don't know if this matters, it doesn't matter, it didn't affect anything, sorry. But it was goalie interference. He fell over uh, Lindgren, and they called goalie interference. Oh. But there was no goals around, like, it's not like there was a goal happening or anything. So, that's why Montreal got a goalie interference call uh, against the other team, on the, you know what I mean? Okay, at 6.13, Mete, he's on, coming in on the rush. And he kind of sweeps a pass. It's not a shot at net because it didn't go anywhere near the net. He sweeps a pass trying to go through the slot on an angle, though. And what it does is it hits a Detroit uh, stick and uh, manages to get through Bernier's uh, five hole. And that um, puts them up 3-2 and go where I was sure that this game don't look good. Um, oh, maybe we got some life. Mete is fourth from Kobe. 644. Um, oh, this doesn't mean anything. Not, it's a penalty. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, again, didn't write the time, so I don't know what time this was, but it was like there was it was like 12 minutes in. I wrote no one covers Nielsen, but in brackets I found it was Suzuki. Suzuki didn't cover his his player. Uh, Nielsen breaks in alone, and he deeks Lindgren to tie it up. His third goal from Green and Helm, and second game in a row. A uh, Suzuki missed assignment les, leads to a goal, directly to a goal. And I write under that again. I can write a uh, trap game in uh, this one with a uh, punctuation. A trap, ga trap game. At 16.08, and now the Habs for about, um, I want to say at least 30 seconds, they're running around, probably a minute, they're running around in their own end like chickens without their heads. Against Detroit, the worst team in the league who scored 95 goals so far. Like, how is this possible? And finally, Z Z Zadina somehow, I don't know how, gets the puck. Some kind of passing play. I don't really care. And he finds the back of the net, and it's uh, his fifth goal from Ernie and Filippula. And uh, that's it with uh, three uh, 352 left. They pull the goalie. They don't really get anything. They don't really get any good really chance. Really, they don't. And uh, that's it. And I write here, and that's it. I'm going to show you. The trap closes. Trap game. If you watch the hockey guy, it should be a little ag ag Akbar Akbar magnet on this game. Okay, so my three well, tw uh, shots on goal. 26 for Montreal, 30 for Detroit. Again, outshot by the worst team in the league. 45% on the faceoff. Again, Something out of the, the only good thing, we were 1 for 5 on the power play, and they were 0 for 4. So our penalty kill was good. The only really good thing that happened is our penalty was good. Three stars of the night. Three stars of the night. Franz Nielsen, no. Philip Zadina, first star. Franz Nielsen, second star. Robbie Fadbury, third star. Now, in the actual stars... Zadina and Nielsen were stars, first and second, and um, Suzuki was third star. Um, I wanted to give Suzuki a start, but that missed assignment, and I know he's a rookie. Yes, but he still he missed that assignment. I took the star away from him, so that's how it works. And I, I'm so disappointed in this team losing to Detroit. I gave Detroit all the stars. 
Is it going to mean anything in the grand scheme of things? Nothing. But that's my form of protest. So there you go. That's my review. I'm wearing black. It's a black day right now. If you like the, the uh, video, give a thumbs up. While you're on the way down there to do that, subscribe, ring the notifications bell. That's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge from me at Talkin' Habs. <laughs> yeah, what can you say? So thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. I, the ga next game is, uh, what are we today? Um, we are Tuesday. The next game is Thursday. Uh, don't ask me who we're playing. I don't know. It's out of my head. And I will be on the air, start the game for the live stream for the first period. I will see you then. And in between that, uh, go Habs, go. What else am I going to say? Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, y'all.